Hi, my name is Shannon Coleman, and this is my race car tutorial using the program Squeak. Squeak has been already opened. I am going to open up the Navigator toolbar. From there, I'm going to choose the paintbrush, which opens up a palette. First thing I will do is to create the outer edge of my drawing by using the square tool or it makes rectangles also. I will click and drag this to create the edge of my drawing. Is to make my race track color. I will choose the largest paintbrush size and come over and as carefully as I can draw my racetrack. My racetrack needs to include two right hand turns and two left hand turns. So I will try to incorporate those onto my racetrack. One thing that I've discovered making the racetracks is I try to make them as smooth as possible and also without maybe making such sharp turns. Before I put this tool away, I like to go around and smooth out some areas which may be a little bit rough. From there, I'm going to choose the paint bucket tool. And what that will do is allow me to fill in a space with color. So I'm going to choose a darker shade of green and fill in the inside portion of my track. Once the track is completed, I will click keep and that will keep my picture for me. Now it is time to make my race car. So again, clicking on the paint palette, I've decided to make my car blue. So I will make the body of the car. I'm just trying to smooth it out a little bit, give it more of an oval shape. Next I will add wheels to my car, make those black. Just for some finishing touches, I'm going to choose a light yellow color and create some headlights. And a windshield. I'll also make a back window. 
Once I'm satisfied with the car, I will keep that as well. Now I'm going to take my car and place it on the track. What I will do now is to write a script which will allow the car to move at the click of a button. First thing I'm going to do is to name my sketch as car. The first part of my script will tell the car just to simply go forward by five. This opens up a script as you can see so there's some different things with this. Um, this clock feature allows you to start the script. What I will be clicking on next is a test button which will allow me to put a test as part of my script. And the test deals with the color of the car as well as the color of the track and the green areas, the inside and the outside of the track. For the car's color, that is because those will be the first things that reach the color changes on the track. So that's the reason I want to do that. This is very touchy. You have to make sure you get it in the right place. So when the car I am going to tell it to turn by 5. By turning with the positive value, it will turn to the right. The second part of my test is to get the car to turn the other direction, to the left. Again, this is very touchy. You have to be able to put it in the exact location. Again, I need to allow the car to be able to see certain colors. And again, I'm going to choose that headlight color because that will touch these areas. So the green portion, I am going to have it turn to the left. What I need to do here is to change my value to make it negative. That will make the car turn the other direction. What I'm doing now is just moving the script out of the way. I want to be able to see it in case I need to make any changes. But I want to run a test to make sure the car will go around the track. So I will click the clock icon and just watch it to see if it will go around the track. This process takes a few moments However, it is very important to run a test of it to make sure that you will be successful. Okay, and I will stop it right there. Since it made it around one time, I'm going to assume it will make it around all three. One final thing I'd like to add that makes it kind of fun is that we can have our car make sounds as we go as it goes around the track. And there's actually a motor sound that you can choose. There it is. 
So, just to let you hear what that sounds like for just a moment. It's just a fun feature that we can add. Now, the last thing I'd like to do before I close is I want to make my picture so it's a little bit more presentable. So the first thing I'm going to do is click this icon, which will put away the script. It just hides it. I can open it at any time and make any changes I'd like to. I'm going to do the same here. This will just hide it. Okay. I can open it later if I need to. One really nice feature in the supplies toolbar is the all scripts button. I can put this anywhere I'd like to on my picture. By pressing go, it will start any scripts that you have. And you can have more than one script written. And the stop key will stop all of them. So have fun and happy motoring.